we're, we're taping. Whenever you're we're ready. We're taping? Yeah. At 2 a.m. in the wee early morn, I was awoken by some music strange and weird, like some high pitched sporadic French horn. So I got up and with sleepy eyes steered myself into the kitchen and was immediately torn by a full pitch increase. And I saw what I feared. It was, it was the ants, and they were a-dancing all around the coffee pot for real, I swear. They were a-hopping and a-bopping and a-prancing. They were a-singing and a-swinging, but naked and bare. When the soldier ants noticed me and were chancing that I'd do nothing but simply stare. Well, I moved in for that closer look and thought the lunatic is really on the grass, especially when the ants band Maestro took a Pink Floyd book while the other ant musicians sat down with their tiny minute ass a little crass on the coffee pot plug man their rockin' began to really cook the played Pink Floyd to an ant beat you know speed it up in a little wee bit fast well the other ant ants had like the good army they are coordinated and no ant hesitated to plug the female end in as the directions were being subordinated. Then my coffee pot began its working and it's a mournful perkin. Harmony sounded and with the cover they become focused and fascinating. No ant hesitated or waited. The entire scene was being ant subjugated. Now some of the ant workers had been struggling to move a saucer back to the coffee pot while they was a moving it and getting the job done while some leaping long haired ant poet was reading Chaucer and generally having loads of fun. Man, the whole house seemed to be a working and a jerking. More and more the ants were rocking and not just a little bit while two more soldier ants at Soldier at Arms began to draw on a dead blinding blur a cup from the cupboard. Can I believe this totally unbelievable microcosmic skit? Now some of these daring ant dudes and dudesses were gathered round the base of this moaning brewing pot. They weren't cogitating. They weren't even waiting on math or calculated stresses as they began to tilt and pour the coffee they had sought. When the Madam Queen Ant raises her antenna with blesses, thankful for the high octane folgers I had bought. You know I thought I was dreaming, so I went back to my bed and over my head I pulled the cover and dreamed dreams that coffee was a streaming from Aunt Heaven and from coffee clouds that did hover over the Madam Queen Ant who was gleefully screaming orders for cappuccino and get rid of the other. Well, in the morning I awoke to fix my AM choke, and I believe everything was perhaps back to normal, so I began the routine caffeine daily stroke, you know what I mean, tipping the cup. When I spied, and I thought my eyes had lied, a note formal saying, Dear Jeremiah, we hope you don't go broke, keeping freshly stocked choke and letting us ants take an occasional toke off that wonderful caffeine. Signed the, the local ant folk and of course the Madam Queen. And so it was, it really was the ants are dancing around the coffee pot at 2 a.m. I swear. And they had been pretty fair at rocking and a rolling and the jumping and the prancing while they was a singing and a swinging with their crazy music they did blare. Even when they knew I had RAID! They weren't afraid. They weren't even scared. Later I learned that they were chancing. They even dared the odds that maybe Jeremiah would get paid and wouldn't notice. But hey, who could say I didn't know my household ants cared. Now, the only thing is, is I would truly try to frame him entirely um, with the, um, so that you don't get the white that's on the left, whatever that white thing is on the left. Oh, is that, oh, that, that's fine. I didn't realize that that wasn't I'm going to have picture. to be right up in his face. No. Oh.